So this is the overall high level picture. Once you create the landing zone uh, through control tower, this is what you get. For example, you are migrating to the AWS cloud and uh, you have one uh, or a management account where you will be deploying this AWS control tower. It will be using CloudFormation stack sets, all managed by AWS, and then it will be creating this organization. You can create sub organization, core organization, your organization units uh, as per your business requirements, as per your application. For example, uh, if we talk about the financial uh, organizations in a very high level, so they will be having one management account. They will be having uh, organization units for a fintech, for their core banking applications, for some uh, finance applications, for some treasury applications, different organization units. And under those organizations, you can have nested organization units as well, where you can segregate your environment based on the applications. Let's say any application A. And under those applications, you want to have three different accounts for staging, uh, dev test, and production. You can have that. So it depends on our strategy, how we want to build the structure uh, uh, of this uh, of our organization. Maybe we want to have our structure organi organized as per our uh, business needs or as per our application needs or as per our governance model. So you can have this. Uh, this is the basic structure which you will be getting one management account. Under management account, you will be having organizations, SSO, uh, SSO directory, you, you will having log archival account. So all the other AWS accounts will be sending logs to this centralized logging account. You can have this audit account as well. Where you can have some security notifications from all these different accounts in a centralized place and you can access to all the other accounts. Plus here you see a provision account. You can provision as many accounts as you want. Maybe you can provision like 100 accounts. And all these accounts which you will be provisioning, it will be provisioned through this AWS account factory. And once you provision the account through this landing zone, it will be having all the account baselines, security baselines, network baselines implemented within your new AWS accounts. So once you adopt the cloud, it will be pretty easy for you to scale as per the best practices.